Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about The Amazing Spider-Man and this movie came out in 2012 and it's directed by Mark Webb and it stars Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone and I saw this movie once when it came out in theaters and I wasn't really all that excited for it and to tell you the truth I was I didn't even know that it was coming out and I didn't really pay attention to any of the marketing and then I watched it and I thought it was fine. And I decided to revisit this movie to see how it holds up. And unfortunately, I enjoyed it less than I did the first time. And it's just a completely unnecessary reboot of a story that we already know. And they didn't really do much with it. And while there are some things that I do like... I just couldn't uh, help but to wonder, why does this movie exist outside of making money? Because really all this movie feels like to me is a cash grab and that's basically what happened because <laughs> Spider-Man 4 was supposed to happen, but uh, this Sony decided no and then like a year before this movie was officially released, they realized that if we don't make a Spider-Man movie in a year, we're going to lose rights to it. <laughs> so they had to, to make this movie really fast. And that's why a lot of this movie feels pretty messy to me. Despite this movie being a mess to me, there are some things that I liked. I liked uh, some of the performances were good. I liked uh, Martin Sheen in the movie and uh, I liked uh, Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield. He was fine as uh, Peter Parker and Spider-Man. I enjoyed uh, some of the scenes uh, with uh, certain characters and uh, when the movie was uh, focusing on the relationships I thought uh, that's when the movie was solid and uh, the scenes with uh, Peter and Gwen those are pretty good and I enjoyed uh, watching those two characters on screen and uh, this movie got a lot of praise uh, for uh, their chemistry and it was like the best part of the movie and it is I would agree with that but unfortunately it doesn't cover up the fact that <laughs> this movie like outside of it it's not great and some of the jokes worked for me and uh, sometimes it was funny that's uh, about it and uh, one thing that uh, really disappointed me about this movie is that it takes so long for it to really get started and uh, you don't get Spider-Man on screen until like past a, a half hour into the movie and uh, in the original uh, Sam Raimi movie everything is very well paced and the spider bite uh, hope happens in like the second scene of the movie and in this movie it takes like 20-25 minutes uh, for that to happen and uh, it's very poorly paced and uh, it just kind of happens and there's no real style to this movie unlike uh, the Raimi movies which have uh, so much going on and they're so memorable and this movie just takes the, the really bland approach and just uh, makes everything like um, it feels like a machine rather than a passion project or a studio movie that uh, has a lot of people controlling uh, what's going on and that's ultimately the difference between this movie and the Raimi movies or at least the first two Sam Raimi movies. One thing that I really found uh, to be annoying about this movie was the music. It was uh, overused, it was kind of overbearing, and it didn't fit in any scene that it was in, for the most part. And uh, while it worked a couple times, they would just spam it and it would get really annoying. Like, they play the same thing like nine times in the movie, and sometimes you can... Uh, deal with it but uh, for the most part you could have just removed uh, the music from this movie and the movie would be either no different or a bit better because uh, music wouldn't be constantly spammed and uh, it just became really irritating to me and uh, there was nothing memorable about it really and uh, that's also another thing that uh, didn't work about it is that there's nothing memorable musically or like from a story perspective and uh, the story of this movie is outside of it being a remake it's pretty much just spider-man versus the lizard and the plot doesn't make any sense and uh, 
there's a bit of setup in the beginning of the movie where Peter's uh, parents uh, left him as a kid and they had to go someplace and you don't get any resolution to that at all. And from my understanding, uh, this and uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 were setting up a Sinister Six movie. <laughs> and that never happened. <laughs> I also didn't really enjoy the action sequences that much. Uh, and uh, I just didn't care about the characters. And uh, they weren't, like, impressively done. And most of it is CG. And uh, the lizard, he looks really stupid in this movie. I didn't like the design for him at all. And... Uh, his character is even worse, and it, at some point he gets the voices in his head, and that makes him really stupid. And uh, this movie takes itself very seriously for no reason. And in the Raimi movies, those uh, films uh, have serious moments, but uh, throughout the movie, it's more of a cartoonish tone, and uh, that complements the movie, and it makes it a lot more fun. But this one, it's uh, taking itself much more seriously, almost uh, to a point where it's it's, it's trying to be realistic, and at the time, every movie was just trying to be the Dark Knight, and that movie was pl praised for being realistic and dark. And just you would just ha see a bunch of movies trying to imitate that. And uh, this is uh, one of those films that got stuck in that time period. And it's just another for the pile that wanted to be Dark Knight, but didn't work. And one thing about this movie is that uh, between and now and uh, me rewatching it uh, for this review, back then I thought it was fine, but it's also a movie where I didn't really remember much about it. And <laughs> revisiting the film, I kind of uh, discovered why I didn't remember much about it is because out of all of the Spider-Man movies that we got up until uh, this point, like, 2012 you had the Raimi movies and this movie this one is uh, for me personally the most boring Spider-Man movie and I was kind of falling asleep while watching this movie and that's uh, really what makes this movie stand out to me is that it's the most boring to me and the only parts of that uh, really made me engage were just the really funny parts when it wasn't even trying to be funny and uh, as a funny bad movie, there are some moments where it's it gets to that point where it's funny bad, but they're pretty spread out and it doesn't work as a funny bad movie, unfortunately. And that's about all I have to say about The Amazing Spider-Man. It's not very good. There are some moments that are kind of decent on their own and there are some lines that I like if you take it out of context and just to say them on their own then I like them, but in the context of the film, they don't really work, and there isn't anything super terrible about this movie, for the most part. It's just mostly bland and boring, and nothing really happens, and nothing really gets uh, all that resolved, because it's setting up a lot of things, but very few things are paid off, and that's just not the type of movie I like. <laughs> and... It was also another movie that's trying to be uh, the Avengers, and that was another thing that movies uh, that came out in this time period period were trying to be. They were all they were trying to be the Avengers or the MCU, or they were trying to be the Dark Knight. And this movie was trying to be both, and it didn't really work, unfortunately. And with all that being said, I'm going to give the Amazing Spider-Man a four out of ten. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. You thought of The Amazing Spider-Man and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation, and I'll see when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Anchorman. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.